These tests were conducted at the MIT Flutter Wind Tunnel in 1968. An order had been received from the Niagara Mohawk Power Corporation for 66 devices to be installed on a 115 kilovolt transmission line near Niagara Falls, New York. Albert Richardson decided to conduct these tests to prove that the devices would not become unstable in winds. Theory had indicated that no instability was possible, but the tests were designed to verify that performance. Arrangements were made with MIT to conduct the required testing. Testing was done at two wind speeds, 20 mile per hour and 50 mile per hour. At each wind speed, the blowback of the device was noted and recorded. For a wind speed of 20 mile per hour, the blowback was 18 degrees. For a wind speed of 50 mile per hour, the blowback was 56 degrees. At each wind speed, the device was rotated away from its blowback position to another angle and then released. The device then was allowed to rotate on its own until it came to rest at the original blowback angle. The oscillation frequency was not recorded. The observations were concerned only with the stability of the oscillations. It was, however, noted that the frequency for the higher wind speed was higher than the frequency for the lower wind speed. This indicates that the torsion stiffness of the device increases with wind speed, in agreement with the theory. Throughout the entire range of wind speed, no instability was found. The damping actually increased with wind speed, as is quite evident. These findings refute the statement made in the EPRI Orange Book on page 163. No instability exists whatever.